Well, hello from sunny Arizona. Uh, we're here working on a 2020 Dutchman Voltage toy haul, toy, yeah, let's try that again. A 2020 Dutchman Voltage toy hauler. Uh, this is a really amazing rig. It is awesome. Uh, one of the cool things that it has actually too is an extension on the back. Uh, here, we let you see it real quick. Uh, right here on the back, uh, the customer actually had his extended an extra three feet for interior space to be able to fit side by sides a little bit better on there. Uh, but this is an amazing rig. And the install that we got going on here is actually a, uh, a kind of helping out a customer. He's doing most of the install himself uh, and just wanted to double check on some wiring and getting some other things done. Uh, they supplied most of this stuff. And uh, so we're here kind of wrapping up, not wrapping up, getting the main components installed today. And uh, I'll show you what we got going on up front. All right, up in this front bay is where most everything is going. Uh, the customer has up top here uh, two 200 amp hour 24 volt uh, lithium batteries and then one uh, 12 volt one here. This is gonna be for uh, starting the generator and for uh, kind of helping supply some of the 12 volt loads. Uh, the customer, or in this install, we're doing the multi plus 3000 24 volt uh, inverter. And that's going to be going right on this back wall here uh, with all the peripherals going against this side here. The charge controller is uh, the Smart uh, 250-100. Uh, it's mounted right up over here. Lynx distribution, a uh, couple of other fun gadgets uh, going along there. Also have a couple of cooling fans to show you right up in here. Uh, they come with a couple of holes in this rig already. So we have some fans installed to be able to get better air circulation. Uh, we're also adding the watchdog. One of the really nice things about this rig is the way that it's wired up. Uh, right along here, you can see uh, this line here and this line here. Uh, so these two lines are our AC mains coming in from shore power, and it goes up to the automatic transfer switch, which is on the other side of this wall, up over there. And then the main run going to the breaker box is... Uh, so that's this line right here. So we don't we don't actually have to add any 6.3 uh, cabling. Makes it for an easy install. I'm a big fan of it. And then the generator's right over here. That's gonna do what it's supposed to do. Also got my nephew Grayson helping out today. His family's down here visiting, so uh, it's nice to have some help. He helped out up in Minnesota with a few things. All right, that's an overview of what we got. Uh, I'll show you up on the roof here in a little bit and we're gonna get rocking on getting this in. All right, welcome back. Uh, we are just wrapping up this install up here. We've got uh, four, six, no, six of these. How big are these? 365 watt. 365 watt panels. Uh, you can see how we have them laid out. We have them arranged uh, where we got two series here, two series there, and then the two up at the front. Uh, the goal with that is these middle two here are probably going to be the ones that are receiving shade from that air conditioner right there. So that way this set right here is going to be pretty much in full sun all the time that the sun is up. Uh, we got them with uh, the, the 100, I think it's 150 watt panel, old panel up at the front right there. Uh, we're leaving that on there. It's, it's actually not hooked up to anything anymore. Uh, we just unplugged it, but we're using the same roof port to haul everything down into that front bay that we have it all coming in on. So uh, the customer mounted these panels themselves, bought them, uh, got them all installed. They did a good job on this. Uh, we just did the wiring on it and uh, wrapped it up. And uh, it's, it's looking really nice up here. Even I'll, I'll notice, I uh, wanna note the uh, fanciness. Customer even painted the brackets on the outside. They painted them black to match the edge of the panel, which looks really sharp from down low. So they're getting die cored up, uh, the top screws up here. And uh, I'll show you what we got going on inside the front bay for the install. All right, here is the final product. Uh, pretty much only a couple things left to button up. And here is the final work of art. Uh, we have the Vitron Multi Plus 24 volt 3000. Uh, he's got two uh, sitting up top here, right so there and there are the 24 volt 200 amp batteries. And then this one right up here is a 12 volt battery. Uh, we're keeping that in line with the, the rest of the 12 volt system. Uh, he has the Orion uh, 24 volt to 12 volt step down converter. Uh, but that only does 70 amps. 
Uh, so when the generator's starting or if he's pushing something else, uh, uh, a really high or low, the leveling jacks. Uh, sometimes it's nice to have a battery on there as well to help pick up the extra amps that are being required. So there's the, the generator right over here. Uh, we got our new charge controller in. Uh, for the first time that I've experienced, uh, the, the customer had a, a different charge controller. It was the, the 25100, but that was dead on arrival. It was just not doing anything. Uh, so we got that exchanged out, new one put in. Lynx distributor down here. We still gotta get the sticker put on that uh, so the words actually face the right way. They make a cool sticker that comes with it. Trying to think of what else. Our solar coming in right here. And uh, yeah, it worked out really good. Uh, customer supplied the watchdog that we put in line with uh, with the multi plus. So the shore power goes in here and then from here it goes to the transfer switch that's just on the other side of this wall. And in uh, and, and looking at it too, so the watchdog says that it's not, uh, it might not be compatible with multi plus two units. Uh, if researching that high and low and just from testing it right now, it seems to be working just fine. I think it has to do with the voltage, if I had to guess. Uh, either the output voltage or if you have two multi pluses uh, together, that it doesn't like the power if you're going out of the multi pluses into the watchdog. Uh, I can see that causing problems. This is pretty much uh, the whole thing. So uh, yeah, from all of us at Soda Solar and Grayson, my nephew, who is uh, learning all about this fun stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, uh, drop them below and uh, we'll see you in the next video.